Hello everybody, it is your favorite and probably only plant-based priest that you know coming to you as promised with a little tutorial on how to prep vegetables for yourself. It's a really great idea to have these on hand so that you have vegetables ready to go when you don't feel like cooking. Um, so I've got three heads of broccoli, or well, not heads, whole heads, three crowns of broccoli here and a whole head of cauliflower. And to be uh, in, the, in the interest of full disclosure, I did wash them first, but other than that, they are untouched until right now. So we'll time ourselves and see how long it takes to break all of these down, and I'll show you how I'm going to store them as well. So right now it is, let's see, I'm going to look at that clock, 2.46. So starting now, let's see how long it takes. I have my cutting board and my knife. Here's our first head of, or crown of broccoli. I'm going to cut off as much of the stem as I can without getting too far into the little flowerets. And once I start doing that, it's just a matter of snapping off the ones that are on the very outside, getting rid of the leaves. You can keep the leaves, I suppose. They're not my favorite. And then I'm going to cut off another thin slice of stem. I'm going to save that because I actually like the way the stems taste when they're sauteed or roasted. You can see it's getting smaller and smaller. Another little piece of stem like that. Break off some more. And then what I have left, I can just cut like this. I know that the way I cook, I am most likely to stir fry these uh, or saute them or roast them. So I'm trying to cut them into relatively uniform sizes. So I'm going back through these little pieces, actually they're big pieces, that were already chopped and cut off and just making them a little bit smaller so that when I roast them all together, it's not going to take a different time and they're not going to cook unevenly. So, all right, that's one broccoli crown in one minute. And where am I going to store these? Because this is going to make an awful lot of chopped up broccoli and chopped up cauliflower. This is a plastic drink pitcher. But we're going to break the rules. You can do what you want. Don't listen to the man that tells you you need actual Tupperware. If this is going to hold your stuff and it has a vented lid so your stuff stays fresher, guess what? You can use it. Be a rebel. Use the pitcher, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So all of this nice cut up broccoli, these are so handy to have because they are so much roomier than most of the other containers that you find and they, are also, they also take up a little bit less space because they're tall rather than wide. Uh, and I go through it, once it's chopped up that is, I go through it quickly enough so that I don't have to worry about the broccoli at the bottom um, getting too wet or going bad before, this, before it gets used uh, from the top down. So just the exact same thing, breaking off what I can, cutting off thin slices of stem, pulling off what I can, and then cutting up the rest. And that way I know that when I feel like having vegetables, all I have to do is reach into one of these pitchers and throw a handful or two of this already chopped up broccoli right into whatever it is that I'm cooking, either into um, a saute pan or onto a sheet pan that's full of other vegetables for roasting. But it's right there and I don't have to worry about if I'm super tired, I don't have to worry about, oh gosh, I've got to drag out these vegetables, and then I've got to do this, and then I've got to do that, blah, blah, blah. So this just makes it go a lot faster once you actually start cooking to have all of this stuff on hand. Final broccoli crown. Let's see, we're three minutes in, and that's with me talking my head off, too, which I normally would not. Well, okay, that's not true. I do talk to myself, but I wouldn't be talking as much and I wouldn't be showing myself the steps either, which slows me down just a tiny bit, not that I am bitter. So here is our last head of broccoli. Just gonna cut up the big ones, toss them in here. Oh no, see, even with this big thing, I'm gonna need another container. Good luck would have it. I happen to have one. You can never have too much storage wear. I always say, especially if you want to have things on hand, because this will save you a lot of trouble and you can stock up a little bit rather than having to go to the store all the time, because right now, probably shouldn't be going to the store very much at all. Delivery is your friend. Stay home. 
stay healthy. Eat lots of vegetables and boost your immunity, guys. Do the best you can. It's very important now more than ever. That is too big. Okay. All right. So three crowns of broccoli in four minutes. There we go. Set those aside. Get this in the garbage. Clearing off the cutting board. I'm going to rinse off the knife and my hands too. And we are moving on to the cauliflower. So just pull off whatever leaves you can, these big ones down at the bottom. And then cut straight from the top down, right through the middle. Oh, there's one already. So if you look, you'll see this core in the middle. What I like to do is just take a knife and cut down the sides just like that. So you have all this that falls right off to the side and the rest of it just pops right off using your hands. Sometimes it pops right off onto the floor, which is what it just did. But in any event, it's very quick. And then you can just use your hands to break up these little florets of cauliflower and again, trying to keep them roughly the same size. Sometimes you can't uh, control the way it breaks up or falls apart, and that's fine. It's still perfectly usable. So I'm just breaking these up a little. Sometimes I do like to use a knife to control how it's being, how it's coming apart just a little. Okay. Like that. 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 Oh, the little ones. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the other half. Come down where that core is and cut right down the sides. Okay. And watch most of it just kind of pop right off. And then I can just trim off the rest like that. And we're left with nothing but cauliflower. These big ones that are a little thicker, you can see, as I said, I am using a knife so that I can control its rate of destruction just a little more. And that's probably fine as it is. And that, when it's really dense like this, like I said, you have to use a knife. Like that. Like that. And this one I can break up with my hands. Trim in half. Do, 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 do. Like that, like that, like that. This one's still a little bit dense, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it again. Same with this one. All right, so we started, guys, at 246 with three broccoli crowns and one whole head of cauliflower. It is now 254. So in eight minutes, including the time it took to talk you through it and explain some things and demonstrate some things, so in eight minutes we have completely broken down a big helping of broccoli and a big helping of cauliflower and now it goes in my fridge. So just as I said, when I'm in the mood for some vegetables, I don't have to do this at the end of the day when I'm tired and I don't feel like doing anything. I just open the Tupperware or, I'm sorry, that's a brand name. I open up the storage container, grab a handful of the vegetables that I want, and there it goes. That's all I have to do. So that is your brief video tip for the day. Please tune back in tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. For, uh, for our quarantine cooking Thanksgiving edition. And I will even give you a sneak preview because I'm so excited about this. Look at this, guys. This is a mushroom wellington. And so we'll be talking about how to make one of these tonight. And I'm very excited to show that to you. In the meantime, go cut up your vegetables and go eat them. Stay home, stay safe, and thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great afternoon, everybody.